Hi friends, again uh, I have some Selenium interviews versions. Uh, I'm sorry it is very late of any video because I was busy with my stuffs and I don't have much versions. Uh, so I hope you are preparing well for the interview and uh, yes, I'll not waste any time. Uh, this is a new year. We have new season of positivity and everyone will get job or wherever they want to. So uh, now we have moved from manual to automation and if you are still with manual, okay complete your manual things by learning and upgrade, update yourself with the automation even if you are doing it or not in your office or uh, and if you are not doing it still you can learn it and you can search job in automation because automation is in market now so it's better to have an automation skills as well okay so uh, we have many things in our internet if you really wanted to you can find it and you can you know uh, you can update yourself because you have to update your software right so okay uh, i'll not waste your time but i'll just uh, be positive learn learn and learn you should learn that's all i can say and always believe in yourself that you'll get it whatever you want so then i have some sort of questions based on selenium interview questions which mainly asked and this is only for one to two or three years people it's not more than that and um, because i have very uh, basic questions which usually ask and i have only uh, those friends which they are searching in job and i have those questions which usually they have faced uh, in their interview so i have only those questions with me so yes and the main importance of selenium is that people used to, people usually forget the you know the importance of the basic questions actually you know the small small thing you know many many of the interviewer may ask because if, if you're one or two years in automation they'll not ask you much questions but at least basic you should know and if you're not working also that that basic thing they'll expect from you that at least you can write a one you know uh, what i can say one script of login registration page at least they can expect these all things so prepare i have already uh, have that video that i've already prepared for the login script so explain in that way so that you'll definitely uh, you know impressed your interview so i'll like request or i can advise you that you can <laughs> you can visit that uh, my video that i've already uploaded in a very easiest way that person can understand uh, yeah yeah you should have that thing that you can uh, uh you you can uh, if you're not doing it right if you're not doing it uh, automation that i have one tip for you that s start from scratch that each in like single point also you should know whatever you are doing like if you are preparing for the script only for login script so that each point like each each of the line you should know why it is written okay so that if you can explain in that way that person can impress by your explanation that okay either if interview also got to that you, you never get a chance to work on but still if you explain in a way he he can uh, he or she might think that okay this person has a potential okay that he has learned the thing in that way that whatever he is telling me that he has a he has a knowledge of that even though if he has not worked on it so uh, that I can say and prepare the Java thing also uh, the basic uh, programs like uh, reverse, palindrome, Armstrong. So these basic, these concepts basically helps you that abstractions, interface, what is the difference between abstraction, interface. I have, I have lot lot of questions on that but uh, I will not distract you from that. Okay, we will move it. Uh, So uh, mainly we'll ask people will ask you about the click events in automation because most of the work based on click right. So if you have if you work on web web based application so and if you're explaining about your automation project so you should not say that you have worked on login and you know different kind of credentials you have used it you should not say this thing. You could have say that you have automated. Uh, I don't have that question right now that I just now have uh, remind that question that what what are the things of automation you have done it till now you can say that I have the uh, automate 
click events many of the click events in my web application it is there so i have opt, uh, automate those things using action class and i have automated drop down drop down we have validation from drop downs we have many get window handles we have we have so many pop ups and all i have automate those all things because uh yeah, get text all those thing you have automate like that you have to say don't say that you have automated login page don't say that don't 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 it's a big no so because if you say means he'll understand that you have not worked on it okay that is the basic thing that i i can tell you that is the real thing okay nobody else i don't know anyone said to you or not this is the basic but i have experienced even i have experienced when i was uh, i was doing it so i have explained that is my person explained and my friends also explained it so you can later on you can say but if he is if he purposely asking you so he might have interested to know what have uh, other thing you have done it and how uh, you know how you can relate it with your application that how you have did it and even if you are not doing it that that person has checking your smartness how you are smart enough so this is a real truth guys so please take it seriously okay then uh, if click events will ask you you can prepare right click or uh, you know any mouse event double click and all so explain double click i can suggest you and context click so these two you can click events if he says you can explain these all and mouse over elements with whatever we have it so you can explain in that manner like we'll be using the action class for that because it's a click i click even is nothing but a action you know then by driver and uh, it's a mouse over so that we can write action dot move to element and you know element so we'll be creating it's a action class first element dot perform double click or uh, or uh, double click and right click okay action dot move to element so like this uh, i ha- i'm not giving you the proper explanation of it if you really want it comment below so that i can prepare the video accounting because i'm not getting any feedback as of now so i'm preparing according to me so i'm preparing only the interview questions not the explanation of the answers if you really want me to explain it you know in a way in which you can like in that way you can express it in front of the interview so i can prepare it i can prepare the video for it so you know let me know in the comment section below that you want what what kind of video you want from me to upload so i'll definitely do because i don't have any feedback as of now so i don't know what to do so whatever comes to my mind i'll do it so i'll just share the questions with you so that you can prepare accordingly how you want it to so i'll just tell you how you can explain that if click events the last you can explain right click double click and you know action class basically action class and how uh, action class you can say that because it's a action event so any mouse events will explain with the you have to create an action class for that and in that way you can click okay and uh, okay uh, i guess this is done now next we uh, next we have test for so test ng annotations are uh, there will be uh, you know there are much much questions if you are saying that you have worked on the uh, framework called test ng they last to the question based on test ng and if you have put in test ng in your resume and i'll suggest you you should put test ng if you are a beginner or you are just is have started only one year you have completed in the automation i'll uh, suggest you put test ng annotations because uh, as then you know the question what they'll ask you so they will be asking you you know not much question because testing is very smallest part but you can play with the testing in the automation but how, how you are playing that you should not explain to the you can say that i have worked on testing in automations but you can uh, you know you can say you can prioritize because i have in my web application i, I have to prioritize the test cases which which has to execute first which has to execute after you know later point of the time so you can prioritize your test cases according to your application or according to your requirement so like that you can uh, say so to prioritize and all those things will be using the test ng annotation so okay so test ng also you can uh, i'll suggest you guys just go to the any website where test ng has been explained very perfectly so you know all that before method after class after method before class just try to understand it thoroughly so that if they ask you because they'll be asking you they'll give you the real based scenario based on test ng that what can execute first like if you have test annotation and 
like test method if you have test annotation and you have um, after class annotation before class annotation uh, after method as annotation before method annotation so which one how they'll execute right so they'll scenario based question they'll ask like if you have before before test method and um, before before method annotation and test annotation and uh, before class annotation so which one execute first so these kind of question they'll ask you in a tricky way so if your concept is clear so that you can answer uh, pretty well but if you're not then yes you may lose the chance and the interview gets to know that then we have not worked on it so you know uh, what i can say jo dikhta hai wo bikhta hai in hindi i, I remember <laughs> so i don't know in hindi uh, in english as of now i, I don't have in my mind so uh, okay how you show him that is in your hand right so if you prepare well you can explain him if you are not prepare well you uh, you might get confused in it in it so if you if you are not working on it so but you can prepare on it right so prepare that's all i can say that but take your time prepare well and then go for the interview okay uh, and also you can go but it's not it's, it's a one day if you you know it's one hour one hour is test mg uh, it's not uh, really tough if one hour you spend on test mg without uh, any disturbance you know, you know stay focused then you can get it it's not that tough and if you really want me to upload video on test mg and i i have uh, easiest way i can explain it but as i said i don't have any feedback so if you really want me to upload then i definitely make a video on test mg so okay then we have a next topic on yes test mg one uh, you know we have so many annotations so i can say that they are all annotation it's not like whatever i have written uh, is just for the video i have written but you can uh, prepare it according all the annotations okay then we have one important annotation that is data provider okay the data provider annotation basically used for you know data driven testing so data driven uh, so not data driven testing data driven framework if you really uh, worked on that you may may know about it if you are not then you can uh, uh, you can learn it's not that tough but yes first read the data driven how it is data driven data provider sorry data provider and how we can implement data provider in data driven framework so the test method uh, that wants to receive data from the data provider needs to use the data provider name equals to the name of this annotation so we will be creating the object and uh, how i can explain i cannot explain you in that way right now but data provider is used to pass the data okay we will be creating the object in that so like that you can explain and uh, i i i just give you the hint that in the interview then then if you say that if you are working on test mg then definitely ask you about the data provider so this is a, a simple definition uh, a, a test map it's a test method is a annotation method uh, you know which as the name says it provide the data right so okay so whatever if you write any if you are creating like if you login right if you create, so it provide the data to the login login app like for the login name or password you have it right the text box okay so it provide the data to those text boxes i can say so but i'll uh, suggest you guys go and prepare for that and if you really want me to upload on these topics i definitely upload it but not now once i'll get the feedback from you guys i definitely do it and uh, i'll uh, request you guys please don't forget to subscribe share and like and comment whatever you have feedback from me and i hope this really helps you guys and don't forget to uh, like i again said and what i can say is prepare well prepare well prepare from the start and um, and don't forget to learn java as well especially the oops concepts and all the best for interviews and yes go and upload your profile on nokri because now the freezing has been over so uh, you'll get more more opportunity in nokri so up, upload uh, upload your resumes and whatever you want to do and you know highlight your profile in that way so that interviewers will may get the calls for the interview um, yes all the best guys bye please like and subscribe